So for this week's match blog, all I've got to talk about is a few open matches that I've been fishing over the last week. Obviously, if anyone's watched the last match blog, they'll know I've not had the greatest run of matches lately. So I've just wanted to get back out on the bank, fish a few different venues and try and get a few bites. And that's been the sort of the key thing I've wanted to do is get back out and get a bit more confidence in what I'm doing. So the first match I decided to come on was the Tuesday Open at Partridge, which was on Lakes 5 and Lakes 6. And I've managed to draw peg 167 on Covey 6 which to be fair really fancied as it's on the spit as you walk over the bridge and it's sort of the end one on the left as you walk over and the wind was blowing down towards me and I just fancied it for a few bites I felt like I was going to have a good day it was nice and warm nice warm conditions and what I was going to do is try and fish like a bit of a summary match and just go there and be quite positive because I just thought with me going on an open trying to get a bit of confidence back I've got nothing to lose go to me peg be nice and positive and see what happens so I decided to literally just fish in the edge to my left where it plums up nice in sort of two and a half foot in front of the grass with worms and um, with it being nice and warm I thought worms might have worked so I decided to do that down the edge didn't plumb up very good in the shallow water so I decided instead of trying to fish my ground bait and maggot approach tight into the bank I'd just come out in front of the grass and feed uh, like I say worms and casters in my sloppy soil mix and then I was gonna throw some maggots down the middle or catty some maggots down the middle for fishing shallow depending on how far I wanted to fish and then I was gonna fish in the mud line which plumbed up really nice it was around 16 inch deep nice and flat and I was just gonna feed ground bait and maggots across there to hopefully catch a few carp so as it's turned out I've spent a bit of time at the start fishing in the edge to my left with worms literally it weren't very good to be honest and it felt like worms weren't right at all i caught a couple of little stocky f1s a couple of little perch and it just wasn't right so not very odd bite and it was straight away obvious that worms wasn't going to be the bait so i quickly rolled that out and went across and fished in the mud and to begin with it was quite good a couple of feet after a couple of feeds i've caught a carp around four pound and then I've gone in again and caught a smaller carp around two pound and I felt like there was an odd fish coming in the peg and all the time I was just feeding a few maggots down, down the middle just for fishing shallow I fed them slightly to my left because there's a bit of a bowl to my left and I was just priming it there and I really fancied to catch some fish there shallow so anyway I carried on fishing and all of a sudden I couldn't get any bites so I picked up my shallow rig I've started on a little Dibber set around 14, 16 inch deep, which has been a good depth lately at Partridge. They haven't really sat very deep, it's really strange. When the fish have come into your peg shallow, they've been quite shallow, sort of between 14 and 18 inch deep. So I went in on that and I caught one first chuck shallow. And then I've gone back in again and it's took me a couple of minutes and I've caught another one and I thought, this is going to be brilliant here, I'm going to have a great day, I'm going to bag up shallow. And then I had no more bites and I tried, like I say, my deeper rigs, no more bites and I'm back up and I'm back down and I just felt I was probably on it a bit too early I felt like I'd because I weren't really catching on the other lines I jumped on it a bit too early and so I thought I'm just going to come off it and regardless what I can catch I'm just going to spend a bit of time trying to catch a few fish in the mud I felt like if I was going to get a bite there it'd be a decent stamp fish so I sort of plugged away with that kept feeding some maggots down the middle and as it's turned out I've just caught a very odd fish across until sort of the last hour and 40 minutes when my shallow line's gone pretty good and I've caught steady away till the end. I actually managed to catch I think 34 fish in the last hour and sort of 40 minutes that day shallow so brilliant end to the match. I ended up like I say catching sort of 16 inch deep um, and it was just nice and steady. They've only had sort of smallish stamp F1s for late six sort of standard. I thought when I'd sort of clipped my fish, I thought, I think I'd had 49 fish, and I thought I might have had just over a ton, but I didn't. I actually only had £94, but that was good enough to put me third in the match. Um, so I managed to frame, so I was really happy with that after my recent run of matches. Nice to sort of be back on the board. Um, Jamie Hughes has been second in the match. He's had £103, I think, he's had from Peg165, which is just behind me on the little channel the lake behind me he's done really well there i think he's caught on maggots across and um, fishing shallow and on the bottom and then steve openshaw won the match from uh peg 16 sorry 171 which is on the middle of the spit to me right and he's actually interestingly he's caught again fishing across the cover and fishing shallow and on the bottom but i think he's fished with casters so one thing maybe i've made a mistake doing is sort of 
not putting me shallow line a bit further across the lake I sort of put it sort of 10 meters down the middle and I think now looking back if I'd have put it a little bit further just up to the, the cover that I had across I might have caught a bit earlier and I might have caught for a bit longer and been able to push myself up sort of to that 100 pound mark but still had a nice day I caught a few fish and I still did pretty well to come third in the match I was quite happy with that so after having a nice day on Tuesday I decided to book on again for the open match on the Thursday and I come back and it was a completely different day to be honest it was uh, really bad weather really windy it was raining all day and I felt like shallow fishing probably wasn't going to be the main way to fish so looking at the peg I drew I actually drew peg 65 on Covey 3 and here's not a great area to be honest it can be all right for a few bites there's normally a few hide and stuff to catch here but it's not normally sort of a section winning an area because you're in with the spit on late three which is peg 73 and 75 which are real famous pegs at partridge and the fuller fish and i felt like it you know was going to be hard to sort of win me section here but the nice thing about the way it was sort of starting to fish i knew i was going to get a few bites so I decided to sort of tailor my approach to the conditions on the day and fish in a touch deeper water so I've set up two lines for fishing with maggots in the deep water one line just short in front of my net sort of four meters just where I could throw maggots nice and accurate in the wind didn't want to go right down the middle because I felt like I couldn't lose feed me maggots accurate enough so I've just come a little bit shorter just at sort of uh, top kit and one where I could just throw my maggots nice and accurate uh, I've also had like an aerator about 10 metres to my left and the way the sort of winds blew at me if I could turn myself towards the aerator I was able to loose feed a few maggots there so I decided to loose feed a few maggots there just in case some fish wanted to come up but I also set up a rig for fishing on the bottom there as well in case I just needed to fish for bites and then I've set up to fishing sort of two foot two and a half foot in either edge with maggots and a little bit of ground bait so as my matches turned out, it started off really slow, and I think it has for everyone to be honest. I've just sort of started in the edge, just feeding a little bit of ground bait and some maggots. Couldn't catch anything there. Uh, caught a couple of little small fish. I didn't really have a cross line on this peg, and that's something else to sort of talk about. The way me a cross line plumbed up, I didn't really have somewhere to fish nicely, and there's a lot of stuff in the water and tight across. It was really, really shallow, so I decided against fishing that. And with the wind, it was going to be hard to present it, and I thought I was just better off concentrating on the deep water and down the edges. So the next move was to have a look on the air rate. So I had a quick go in shallow, caught one little F1 straight away, and then no more bites. So I had a go on the bottom, caught a couple of little stockies, caught a little car, and then that was sort of my match, really. I just nicked a very odd fish on that line kept having a look in the edge nicked a few fish in the edge and then sort of wasn't really going anywhere with sort of hour and a half to go i'd probably got sort of 40 pound maybe a bit less maybe only 35 pound and then i've had another look on my short line just in front of my nets and i've started catching and to be fair i've caught pretty steady there at the end just literally loose feeding a few maggots nice and short and sort of every time it just went a bit funny i've just come off it fed it again had a look in the edge maybe nicked one or two fish did manage to nick a couple of fish down my left hand edge that day so that day i've ended up with 34 fish which was 75 pound now paul jones next to me on my left he's had 76 pound i think he's just picked me but as i expected the over the spit peg 73 paul jagger had, had 81 pound so he's won the section so probably could have had that to be fair i thought we were going to struggle to get anywhere near the pegs over the spit but i definitely could have caught that i did actually lose a car playing it under my feet it could have been foul up just sort of under the chin and as i'm playing it, it's just come off which was frustrating that looked sort of four pound and i did actually lose a fish around the pallet leg down the edge so not sure what that was really i think it was a little carp but it's hard to tell because sometimes the smaller fish are the ones you lose around the pallet leg like the little stockies they run you through um so that's probably like i say being a bit sort of critical i still feel like i've done well to catch 75 pound from that area on the day and um, another nice match had a few bites and i can't complain so overall in the match at partridge on thursday the winner was mark derbyshire from peg 88 with 120 pound so massive well done to mark the actual some of the lakes fish really well that day i felt like it was starting to pick up the weights there was i think there was a hundred pound on lake two 
and I think, like I say, R8 was won with about £95 by Chris Weeder on peg 56. So I felt like it was starting to fish a little bit better based on the weights, what they have been. You know, the weights have been quite low for the time of year and I felt like we were moving in the right direction. And now hopefully going forward now, the weights will just get better and better as we move into the summer. So the next match I want to talk about was Saturday's match. And I've been to Monk Hall Fishery, which is a lovely venue. It's a venue I don't go enough. It's a little bit too far for me to go regular, but I absolutely love it. You always get a brilliant day's fishing at Monk Hall, and it's a lovely place. So I've gone there on Saturday, like I say, and it was on Owlpool, and I've drew peg four. And now I've never fished Owlpool before, so I wasn't too sure whether this was a good area or not. But speaking to a few of the locals, they told me that any of them pegs over the bridge are normally worth a few fish so i was really happy with that plumbing up the peg in the morning i've had a nice shallow sort of spot across where it was just under two foot plumbed up quite flat there that was sort of quite wide though it was sort of 16 meters there but i fancied to catch a few fish there early while i was going to prime the other lines the other spots i decided to fish was in my right edge because i had a spare peg to my right so i decided just to stick to my right edge there and i had sort of 20 inch sort of there and again i was just going to fish there with soft pellets in micros and then down the middle i had sort of five foot so i decided just to use that as a shallow line to be fair i know that you normally need quite a good weight of monk hole so i wasn't going to really fish that for fishing on the bottom i've just decided to prime that with maggots down the middle to try and catch shallow so that was my main uh, attack so it was a nice simple day soft pellets across and in the edge and maggots down the middle so as it's turned out, I've started off across fishing with soft pellets, just feeding a little medium guru cab pot of micras and fishing a soft four mil pellet on the hook and just being nice and patient. And then I've been, been able to come back with a fish most chucks and they were decent stamp fish, the ones I've caught across. I've caught a couple of decent carp, a couple of big F ones, and it was going quite well. I probably had sort of eight or nine fish after an hour and that had probably gone 30 pounds to be honest with me cart what i had i did have one decent one about six seven pound that was a real nice bonus and it was going really well it gave me chance to feed plenty of bait down the middle and just put a few micros in down the edge just to try and prime them lines up for later on in the match because i didn't feel like i was going to ever win the match by just shipping across all day with it being quite wide i think if it had been a couple a section closer and sort of 14 meters i might have fished that for a bit longer but i felt with it being like I say, quite wide, I was going to have to catch on one of my other lines if I was going to catch a big enough weight to win. So my next move was to sort of come in on my shallow line. And I've gone in on that. Again, like I say, going to Partridge, sort of 16 inches has been a good depth. So that was my starting depth that day. And I went in and I was just fishing maggots on, like I say, my little RW dibber rig. And it's been brilliant to be fair. Straight away I've gone in and caught and it's just been nice and steady away. And I've managed to catch little F1s and I'd all the way through the day. Every now and again, when my line went dead, just dropping down my right edge, nick a couple of fish on soft pellets, back out shallow, and I just managed to rotate them two lines for the rest of the match, catching nice and steady all day. It was an absolute brilliant day's fishing, and I've ended up with £189, which managed to win the match. So buzzing with that, really. I haven't, you know, had a good result and a match win for a couple of weeks now, so it was great to get a win, and I had a lovely day's fishing. What an awesome place Monk Hall is. Can't wait to go back. So the next match was Sunday and I went to the Oaks Lakes again in Sesse and it was on Ash Beach and Sycamore and Tom's done the draw and drew me another lovely looking peg in peg 14 on beach. Now this was a corner peg and the wind was blowing in so I really fancied it. I thought I was going to have a really nice match here. But the only thing I would say is beach pull out of the three has been the toughest pull so I did feel like Ash and Sycamore would be difficult to beat in the overalls, but I was still quite hopeful that I could get a good weight and maybe push myself up towards the frame. So the last time I went to the Oaks was a couple of weeks ago and I caught really well fishing with hard pellets. So I decided to make that the main sort of approach on the day. But I did also take a few maggots as well with me just as a backup in case my hard pellets weren't right because pellets have been a bit funny at a lot of venues lately. I think if you're on a lot of fish you can catch on them but when you're on a bit of a tougher area I feel like baits like maggots and meat have been better for getting you a few bites for whatever reason I think the fish are a bit sick of pellets and they're not really eating them but I still wanted to fish with them because I did catch really well on them a couple of weeks ago so I've just literally set up short with hard pellets long to fish with maggots in the open water in case I needed a line just to get myself some bites 
and then I fished pellets up the bank where I had sort of three foot of water and then I fished pellets in the edge again where I had sort of three foot of water so nice simple match and I was just hoping that it'd fish really well and would bag up but as it turned out it did fish quite tricky on the uh, beach on the day I started short on pellets like I say I caught two there early and then I was sat there waiting and I just felt like I could look looking around the lake and no one was really catching any and I just felt like it was going to be a bit trickier today it wasn't going to be sort of the massive weight you normally need to sort of frame and win your lake at uh, the Oaks and I've sat there for sort of 40 minutes I like I say I caught two in the first 10 minutes and I sat there for sort of 40 minutes I got another one and then I caught one that was foul up then I got it in and then I foul up and lost one and then I've not had another sign there so I'd sort of had four fish after an hour on that but to be fair I think like that was probably the most what had been caught on the lake there after an hour with four fish that was all that I'd sort of seen caught uh, Ian Bowman opposite me had caught a couple of fish fishing long on the bottom um, the lad sort of slightly in the middle I seen him catch a couple of air short I seen the lad next to me catch a couple short but it wasn't fishing great so my next move was to fish up the bank I felt like if the anglers to my left in the open water weren't really catching that my best move next was to go up the bank and just fish with pellets so that's what I've done gone up there just potted a few four mils every now and again pinged a few four mils and I've caught a few fish up there and it's been okay for a little bit and I've probably caught six or seven carp up there and then I foul up the couple and then they seemed to just scatter and I couldn't catch any more so I just rested that and just pinged an odd pellet up there um, had a look on my maggot line long and that was okay now but it was quite windy and it was getting worse and it was quite difficult to present my rig out long and I've caught a couple and I foul up the couple and I think that was just because my presentation wasn't great so I wanted to try and catch a little bit shorter so I've started to throw a few maggots on my short line where I started and I've tried to build that up and I've had a go on that sort of halfway through the match and I'd probably got about 15 car sort of halfway through and I've had a go on that short line and the way the wind sort of blew my short line was really towing really strong at this point in the day and I feel like there was probably a few fish there to be caught but I just couldn't present my rig I was dropping it in and it was sort of towing through and I felt like when I was feeding I wasn't sure where my bait was going and it was causing me a few issues to be honest and I sort of lost my way a bit I was out long I was back short I was up the bank I was down the edge trying to catch some fish and I didn't really catch any and like from sort of halfway through having sort of 16 carp sort of an hour and a half later I'd sort of only got 17 or 18 I just did not catch anything for a couple of hours and I was sort of losing my way and then literally with sort of 40 minutes to go the wind sort of slightly turned round and blew slightly off my back and I've dropped back in short and my float sat there lovely and still and I thought right I might have a chance now of catching a few fish and I did I managed to catch another eight there in the last sort of 40 minutes nice little end to the match just potting a few maggots loose feeding a few lovely when you catch them fish on that short line at the oaks the bites are so positive and the fish pull like mad it's awesome fishing great to go out and catch some carp I ended up with like I say 26 carp and they've gone 81 pound which managed to win beach pool like I say quite a low weight for the Oaks usual standards but I was really happy with that winning me pool and I'd like I say I've had a much better week out on the bank so overall on the day the match was won from peg 13 on ash by Mark Calvert absolute legend of an angler great to see Mark win the match I think he's caught mainly on meat so that was a bait I didn't take with me on the day so it would have been quite interesting if I had took some meat to see what I would have caught and I think next time I go up I will take some meat with me just in case because I've tried to commit to hard pellets today and I don't think they were quite right and I think maybe if I just tapped a few pieces of meat in up the bank and out long I would have caught better than I did fishing with pellets and maggots so that's one thing to consider for next time I go and then all, most of the other uh, framing weights come off uh, ash I think uh, Dean Smith caught a weight off Sycamore about £120 but I think other than that all the other tons were off ash so that's definitely the late to draw at the minute I've been on there the last couple of weeks and the fishing's been really good on there so um, I'm sure though looking at the weather for the rest of the week now from sort of Thursday onwards I think it's going to be upwards of sort of 18, 19, 20 degrees for quite a few days and I think the fishing is going to pick up now and I think the weights are going to go through the roof so fingers crossed that that's what happens and I can't wait for it to warm up now it still feels freezing like I'm sat here now it's windy it's cold 
and it's just not right for May and early June. So let's hope it does warm up and let's hope everything starts to pick up from this weekend. So hope everyone's enjoyed this week's match winning blog. If you're out on the bank for the rest of the week, tight lines and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.